which is Supreet. And today we are going to talk about you know uh, consumption of web API or consumption of any web service. All right. So usually you know we go with Ajax calls. So now we're going to see how to make Ajax calls from React JS. So uh, basically you know uh, we have .NET Core application wherein I have constructed an API service. So what this is going to do is this is going to connect to MongoDB and pick up the records from uh, a specific collection and you know uh, give you the results. So uh, if you see <clears throat> I have an index method over here and this is going to connect to a database MongoDB and this is going to fetch the records uh, from the collection and present it on the screen. So ideally you can treat this as a service, a web service and we're going to see how to you now make Jax calls from ReactJS. So I'm going to switch to ReactJS project over here. So I have created a new JS file called API for Mongo CRUD. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna you know, uh, create a Axios package. All right. So the very first thing uh, to you know uh, to do is to create. I'm sorry. To create Axios package. And then import Axios package. Now, where do you import this package? This is in the api.js file. <clears throat> now, uh, you're gonna write an Ajax query and then export the JS file. Uh, this is basically a component. <clears throat> now, uh, yeah, after this, you're gonna go to you know index.js file where you're gonna you know import this component and return the data. All right, so this is the steps. So now we're gonna import Axios. So import Axios from Axios. <clears throat> we're gonna create a component called const API for Mongo crud. All right. So we're gonna use fat arrow function is equal to fat arrow function and we're gonna you know make an ajax call over here <clears throat> all right so now we're gonna say axios dot this would return something right so we're gonna say return <clears throat> and I say H1 presenting you the data. Right. <clears throat> Now we're gonna make a Jax call. So this will take a URL. So we're gonna pass the URL over here. So let's not worry about any other arguments over here. We will just pass a, the single argument called All right, we'll include an ar array over here. So they should work. And now, what we're gonna do is, so uh, we're gonna test this 
specific you know um, a jack call so for this we need to export this component we're going to say export default api for mongo crud so now the component is ready so we're going to import this component in the index.js file <coughs> so we're going to say import api <coughs> for mongo crud from all right so now i have imported so what we're gonna do is just pass this argument remember render has two arguments one is what to be rendered and where to be rendered we have already you now included where to be rendered now we're gonna see what to be rendered so this is the one which i'm rendering all right all right so now here <clears throat> we're gonna include something all right so whatever response you are getting over here we're gonna log that response in the console all right so this is my component all right so what we're gonna do is we are gonna run this I just forgot to include something. Uh, this is where I'm going to include the URL, which is uh, the API URL. So let's run this solution and get the you know API URL. So now we are in the home page. Now if you say product and index so this should return uh, you know the data from mongodb all right so these are the details i'm presenting you on the screen now what we're going to do is we are going to fetch this records uh, from an ajax call through react js i'm going to copy this url and i'm going to go to react js file paste this all right so now we're going to run this react and see if we are getting the data so now i'm going to say npm start so this should open up a browser and make an ajax call and get the data now you can see the resultant over here and if you uh, look at the console the details are over here <coughs> So data is fetched from the DB and you know when you make an Ajax call, the data is collected over here and presented to you on the console. <coughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test some other uh, API. <coughs> so I'm gonna quickly go to this and change the URL. And let's say, paste the url over here <coughs> and i'm gonna quickly go to this now look at this expand this so this is the result if i you know paste the same url over here you can see the data all right so the same data is being displayed over here now you can use this data and present it in whatever way you want it on the screen maybe in the table format or in any other format you want to display you can display using this